Greetings, greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to another video Alright my viewers So in this one I am going to be talking about a press conference uh, That was done by CWI And they had a couple of journalists Asking questions online Dr. Desmond Haynes was there and you know he was answering the questions as it relates to the West Indies team selection. Now one question that stood out was the one that had to do with Shimran Hetmeyer. Right? We remember that last week his wife made a post saying the most how he was ready and he made it clear that he was available and they decided to rest him because they don't want to play him all sort of foolishness or all sort of things she came out saying now Desmond Haynes he basically confirmed all of that you know that Hetmeyer made himself available but they decided that they wanted to stick with the team that went to South Africa because they think they have a group of committed players and the camaraderie is there so I'm gonna go through this interview and let you all hear what Desmond Haynes had to say one thing I will say is it seems as if Hetmeyer, if Hetmeyer's wife did not say something about this we wouldn't have heard anything and as I said the other day, it seems as if CWI are now at a point where if someone like a Hetmeyer, they decide not to select him, they are probably believe they don't need to come out and say why they didn't select him because he's not in contention, it seems. So, let me go down tonight. So, the first thing that Desmond Haynes is confirming is that yes, Shemran Hetmeyer did reach out. Right? He sent an email to Jimmy Adams and he was saying that he was available for the tour of uh for that tour to play the, the the qualifiers that that's what in zimbabwe if i'm not mistaken so he sent an email to jimmy adams uh, you know saying that he's available according to desmond haynes the selectors decided to stick with the team that went to south africa so they decided to stick with the team that went to South Africa and Desmond Haynes made it clear also that the captain Shea Hope had um, a big say in them keeping this team together because according to him the captain spoke about the camaraderie and said that the team was good together and the team made the, the players were committed and they want to build with this team you understand according to Desmond Haynes they saw the commitment of all the players in South Africa and you know according to him they saw a change or a shift in the way they want to play ODI cricket so based on the squad that they had they believe that that squad they would have to keep everybody there plus if they wanted to add you know maybe one or two somebody so <laughs> He's saying that it would be, it wouldn't be, it is fair to stick with the players from South Africa because of the effort that they showed and how they played. According to Desmond Haynes, nobody is being ruled out from being selected because, according to him, we don't have that amount of depth in our in the region. So he's saying that nobody is ruled out from being selected because. We don't have that amount of players so we can rule out people and decide decide not to, to use people. You understand? That is what he's saying, my viewers and subscribers. He went on to say that, um, you know, they are happy with the last series and the new captain showed that he was also happy with the players. So they decided to go that route. I don't know my viewers and subscribers um, because you're happy with a set of players or because a set of players did well doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot cheat, um, you cannot upgrade that squad but I guess they are thinking that to, upgrade, to, to, to add one or two other people you would have to drop people now the final thing that he said was about the fitness thing he was asked whether or not Shimran Hitmeyer was left out because of fitness and according to him not as far as he's concerned he went on to say he's staying 
far from this fitness thing because he is not a doctor, he's not a um, doctor practitioner, right? He's not practicing, um, uh, you know. That is what he's saying. So, all of a sudden, because they see where this fitness thing is coming back to bite them, because we see people that fitter than other people playing and people that, you know. Because apparently because this is, 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 is not an excuse that they can use anymore They are steering clear from it Because you know a lot of people would have Showed the weakness in that logic or in that statement So Dr. Desmond Haynes is saying that they are staying clear He is staying clear from that sort of From that line of argument about fitness Because he's not a doctor He's Dr. Desmond Haynes But he's not a practicing doctor so all of a sudden, he's not a practicing doctor, so he don't know anything about fitness. When he came in, he was all up about talking about fitness. And I agree, you need to be fit to play. So I don't know why he's shying away from the question now. Not because players that we, they decided that were, weren't fit would have shown in other leagues that they are more than fit than some of the other players that they select and say they are fit. You know, don't mean you need to run from it. You need to stand up to your, to your argument, man. You need to stand up to the requirement. One of the requirements for playing for West Indies is that you must be fit. So I don't know how this man going to talk about he, he's not a practicing doctor, so he's staying clear of fitness. It doesn't mean that because people think it's controversial, you should run from it. As a lead selector, that is a criteria. So you need to stick with it and stop the foolishness. So that is, that is, that is what he's saying, my viewers and subscribers. Um, that hit my ass. So there goes the answer for the hit my ass situation. His wife posted, she's the one that let us know that hit my ass reached out and made it clear that he was available, but he was not selected. So, you know, Desmond Haynes, I guess, had to answer that question after it, it was raised basically to clear up everything and to let them know that yes, he did reach out. As I said, they are probably thinking they are past the stage where they need to give a reason why Hitmeyer is not in the team. So that is why they probably did not mention that he reached out and said that he is available. Um, some will probably say he's not informed. Some will say that they cannot trust him based on, 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 on what happened the last time. You understand? So that is it where that story is concerned. Now, just before I finish, um, Jaffa Archer is once again out because of injury my viewers and subscribers suffered another injury right think it's a stress fracture i tell you he's out for the for the summer out for the for the ireland series that they are going to play and out of the ashes based on what they are saying um i see um ian bishop was talking and ian bishop said that you know this was almost like back in 2019 i think he said i don't remember when in, in, in that Ashes series when they were over bowling him you know according to Ian Bishop he looked and he was like this is almost um, setting up the, the, the golden goose you understand so Jaffa Archer being a golden goose you know he was overworked and I guess it, it, it is showing now you know Ian Bishop is saying that he should stay as far away as possible from red ball cricket right now just to get his body back together so Jaffa Archer is out again, my viewers and subscribers. Um, a lot of people are interested in his story, not only because he is from the Caribbean, but he is one of those um, elite pace bowlers that you know we like to see in the cricket world. So, just wanted to update you on that one. Gonna leave it right here for now, my peeps. Big up on yourself.